the property price fallacy that will fundamentally shock Australia. Martin North, John Adams, in the interest of people. Hello, John. Hi, mate. How are you going? Pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. So interesting conversation today about how much prices around the country are going up or not. So, so what we can say uh, now is, so we're seeing that, uh, that there is a lot of weakness in units. Uh, and I think a lot of that would have been uh, like around the, some of the construction scandals that we are seeing. Yep. People have lost confidence in that particular market. But also there's probably a lot of supply also coming on the market. And, and you know, when you look at credit growth numbers, we're seeing that there's not a lot of, uh, uh, you know, like a lot of uh, new 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 borrowing for, for units. So, so there's a bit of a, you know, credit story as well as a construction quality story there. But, but we're always, but so, so we're seeing massive weakness there. And we're seeing some strength in housing uh, and, and houses, but nowhere near the extent that has been uh, reported on uh, by either the index, uh, college index, or by the mainstream media. I basically came up with some numbers for the first quarter of the financial year, and so D, so DFA is saying that Sydney prices fell um, by 0.43% for the quarter, Melbourne went up 0.09%, uh, and Brisbane fell. Um, 0.15% compared to, you know, the CoreLogic uh, numbers. But obviously, you know, you know, CoreLogic is saying 3, 3.82% for Sydney, uh, uh, Melbourne up 0.367% for Melbourne and 0.67% for Brisbane. So a very big difference between what the what CoreLogic is, is saying, which the mainstream media, the property sector, the banks, the, the government, the ABS is all basing on, and what you've now said, and obviously, REA has said something very similar on the record to what your numbers reveal. When New South Wales is, is, is on average is being um, uh, transacting uh, 1,300 properties a week, you know, what, um, uh, what, what do you expect? The, the numbers are very low. So, so, and if the, if, the, if the numbers that make up those sales transactions are very low and are in the, in the high bracket range or in the, you know, in high, uh, you, you're going to get a, you, you're going to get a huge distortion of the, uh, of, of the median or the, the, the so-called rises or, or, or uh, the, um, you know, the averages of the median because it's, it's lumping everything into one, into one pot. Um, the other thing is, is what what they don't tell you, is the fact that in a lot of these areas and in and in the high end areas, uh, if you recall, some of these areas fell by up to 30, 35 percent uh, from their highs. So having a rise of 10 percent is really not a recovery, is it?